Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool that will allow us to be in more than one place within our model at the same time. Uh, let me explain. I've got a model here in Civil 3D that uh, it's a roadway. I can look at an intersection at this end. I can pan down to the opposite end and I've got a road design that's more than a mile long. There may be times that I'd like to copy geometry or measure distances or effectively be able to see or manipulate things in two different areas of the model at the same time and panning and zooming and going back and forth can be fairly time consuming. So the question is, is there a tool that we can basically see different areas of the model at the same time without having to be doing all of this zooming and panning? And the short answer to that question is yes, we can do it through a, a concept that's called viewports. So, now these viewports are different than what we would have in paper space. These are model space viewports, and what it allows us to do is we can break up our screen into multiple sections to kind of simulate even multiple monitors. So, for example, I'm going to, on the View tab, select the uh, viewport configuration, we'll say two vertical. It breaks our screen into two pieces. And once we've done that, now we can uh, start to configure it or customize it to exactly what we would like to see. So for example, um, I'll click inside this viewport to make it current. We'll zoom up and say that we're looking at the intersection. When I get over to this side, maybe I don't need half the screen, so we'll click on the line to uh, move that over a little bit. Now, it might be a little hard to see, but if we get close to the top edge here, there's actually a little plus that I can left click and hold on that plus and you see a green line come out. From there I can further break the screen into pieces horizontally or vertically. Um, let's break this into uh, two pieces uh, vertically, then I can come up and maybe I can you know, spawn off two more here to view different things. And then I can click in these views to uh, critical areas within my model. So maybe there's something about this uh, grove of trees. Uh, we'll, we'll pan uh, in this window, oops, we'll pan in this window and take a look at uh, maybe a culvert or the fence line. Actually, there's a building down here at the end. We'll back up and look at that guy. Maybe in this window, we'll uh, zoom up and look at a culvert crossing or, or something else. Um, it's kind of irrelevant, you know, exactly what we're looking at. The idea is just that we can break the screen up. In fact, if I, I back up, I believe there's even some uh, profiles that are available in this, this view as well. All right, so with our screen broken up, it uh, is now as simple as just clicking to activate the view that we would like. So um, if I want to measure a distance, say, from one end of my model to the other or from a corner of a building, I can just click in the window that I'm interested in. I'm going to type in uh, distance, D-I-S-T, to measure a distance. I can pick a point in this window where I'd like to begin my measurement, come over, click a different point within my model and then click to tell it where I'd like to measure the distance and I get the distance from one end to the other once again without any panning, zooming, whatever the case may be. Maybe now that this window is active I'll uh, take and create a quick circle uh, just to have some geometry and if I'd like to have that geometry copied in other places within the model I can now copy it, uh, bring it down here, copy it into the profile. I can click it over into this area, I can copy it here as well. All right. Uh, once again, using the viewports uh, feature uh, within model space, I'm able to orient myself in different locations and very quickly access different areas of my model with all, without all the panning and zooming. Now, let's say that I'd like to go back to my model as it uh, once was. Let's, uh, let's do a couple of things. First thing, I can capture this configuration should I decide I'd like to return to it. So I'll come up here to the top and we'll click on Named to... Uh, automatically bring up the dialog which will allow us to save it so we'll say a new viewport configuration and I'll just call this my custom for right now we'll click on OK and with that should I like to uh, start uh, reducing the number of viewports that I have or further customize this if we click on the line that we looked at before you'll notice as I drag it over it'll automatically uh, sync those two uh, viewports together we'll do the same thing I could take and sync it this way all right, and I could further eliminate them one at a time. Or if I look at viewport configurations, the drop down, there's an option here that will immediately go to single. Whichever viewport is current, that will be the one that will be the single viewport. So let's start with this guy. We'll come back, click on single, and we're back looking at our model like we did originally. All right, once again, great thing. If uh, I want to break it back up, measure distances rather than reconfigure that again, we will go back to named. 
We see My Custom is available. Gives me a breakdown of what that looks like on the screen. I'll click on OK. It'll automatically reorient my geometry again. OK, so model space viewports and breaking our screen up into multiple pieces can be a very powerful tool when we're working on our models, especially if that model is large and we find that we're panning and zooming to uh, different locations to be able to perform the operations that we need to. So I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.